Hi everyone, this is Francis Bellardino from Bella D Media, and it's a pleasure to share with you a small video tutorial of the V-Script. The V-Script is basically the engine behind all of our newest products, and each have a slightly different feature, but I will go over the main basics. For this video, I've opted to use V-Alto Choir. And of course, at the risk of self-promoting, the V-Script is a sophisticated power tool, and it's designed to ease the burden of the working composer. Most aspects are done behind the scenes or on the fly. The composer needs to create vocal sequences or a group of elements and store each by a simple press of a key switch. I'll go over all of this in a little bit more. So the first thing to notice is the verse section. You can create and store up to 12 verses. You can see where I left a vocal element in the main sequencing window, so I'll simply press the clear button and thus removing it. Verses consist of a group of vocal elements, 1 through 16, and then stored on one of 12 key switches. And each verse can be called back automatically by simply pressing the corresponding key switch. Next is the step or element section. This is where you will begin to build a vocal movement. You are allowed up to 16 elements per verse, and again, there are 12 verses. You open the element drop-down and select your first vocal movement, and then move on to the next, and so on. So for this example, I'll create two verses using two elements. Verse one will be built with ta and sa. Then I will store verse one on the C key switch. Next, I'll advance to verse two, entering another set of vocal movements using ro and so, and then storing this on the C sharp key switch. As you can see by pressing the corresponding key switches, you are now triggering between verse one and verse two. Moving on to the effects panel, you have a simple on-off switch talking to the impulse response church reverb, as well as a vocal filter boosting a bit of vocal air, again on and off. Next are the attack and release sliders, which are self-explanatory, but you can assign a unique attack and release for every element in each verse. So that's 16 various attacks and release per verse. Lastly is the clear button. This will clear each created verse. As a safety feature, it will not clear them all, only one at a time. You have to select which verse you wish to clear. Okay, now for some audio examples explaining a bit more detail about the V-Script. Here's a simple example of creating a verse with four elements, storing them on the C key switch, and then playing them back. Next is an example of advancing the attack switch to give a more blurred, ethereal type choir. Next I'll do a real-time example of the attack slider where the first three elements are slowed but the last is fast. This will bring out the Z of Zo, which is the last element in this verse. Moving on, I'll show an example of our sample offset legato. You can hear that when playing in a legato fashion, the Z syllable is removed, leaving you only with the E vowel. This works in both up and down direction. Z. Here's a short audio example to hear the difference between playing straight or legato. Mainly when playing straight, the syllables will be more pronounced, and when using legato, they will blur. In this example, the last element in the verse is ra, so listen for the more pronounced r sound. Here's another example where the last element in the verse is su and should sound a stronger S syllable. Keep in mind that the U vowel is dark as intended. Here's the same example using the two vocal element.
and a final example using the SU vocal element where the S's will be a bit more pronounced. So that about covers the very basics of the B script, and I hope this has been helpful to you. And as always, we look forward to serving your musical needs. Should you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to email us at melodymedia.com. <laughs>